You know, I don't believe I ever asked your feelings about this war. On the surface, it must seem as though we took Fodlin's fragile piece in our hand and shattered it into a thousand pieces. What, is it deep conversation time now? Where'd that come from? It's merely that we've never discussed the matter, and you are in a fairly unique position amidst this all. I thought you might be able to provide some perspective on how an outsider views the actions Adrestia has taken. The way I see it, you just did what you had to. You talk about peace, but it's not like people weren't already getting slaughtered for dumb reasons. I mean, pick your poison. If it's not greedy bandits ransacking your town, it's tyrannical nobles raising each other's land in search of more power. So, sure, people will die in the war, but the reforms it'll bring will save at least as many innocent citizens. Maybe even more. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Honestly, I think the whole thing's one big ugly mess. I mean, look at how many innocent lives it's costing us. Still, I know this wasn't just some spur-of-the-moment decision. You gave it a lot of thought, and this was the best path you could find forward. So, who really cares what little old me has to say? I suppose that's one way of looking at it. I don't know. Don't think I really feel too strongly one way or the other. You have nothing to say. Nothing at all? That's how it goes when you're a merc. War, peace, doesn't matter. My job's the same either way. It's just money in, blade out. All there is to it. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. It's like you said, I'm in a unique position here. Meaning you would have answered differently were you not a mercenary. Uh, yeah. If I was a farmer, for example, I'd be hounding you day and night to end the war. Sure, you say you're gonna bring this bright and beautiful future, but am I really gonna suffer for years, maybe even decades, waiting for it? The stuff you're doing now, enlisting my farmhands, trampling my fields, destroying my crops, just doesn't make it worth the wait. But you know the toll it's taking on your people. Yet you choose to press on with the war anyway. So you've got to have a good reason, right? Yes, of course. You certainly don't mince words. Is it the years of mercenary work that made you this way, or have you always been like this? Yeah, I think it just kind of comes with the territory. I've been at this a long time, and lost more than my fair share of friends over the years. Not to mention all the horrible things I've done just for a fistful of gold. Is that so? I would be interested. Pretty sure it's who I am. It was just me and my mom growing up, you see. We lived in a village, but for whatever reason she liked to keep to herself. So, I guess it rubbed off on me. I learned pretty quick not to get attached. Is that so? I would be interested to hear more. Trust me, it's not as interesting as it sounds. Who says it has to be? Interesting or not, I'll have you tell me one of these days. If you say so, just promise not to freak out when you realize how boring I am, okay? Do I seem like the type of person to freak out about such a thing? Perhaps don't answer that.